Um, so I was, I'm judging the beef shorthorn section today, beef cattle. Um, and we've just judged the first class of beef shorthorns just now in this ring. Uh, so I'm looking, first of all, for something with a, a bit of character. So I want it to be quite a stylish animal. Uh, I'd like it to have plenty of width uh, over its top. And I'd like it to be quite correct when it's moving around the ring and just generally have a bit of X Factor, so you know, something that catches your eye, is a bit special in the ring, that's, that's what I'm looking for today. So. The shorthorns are a very stylish animal, uh, they do have quite a lot of character naturally. They have this ability to, t to graze rough forage, so hill land, and turn it into to beef or milk for calves, and uh, you know, they are just naturally a very hardy cow, um, but also very stylish in the show ring as well, so you know, it kind of serves both purposes. So. Uh, so the class I've just judged um, was, uh, was a two-year-old heifer that I put first in it. Um, just she had, a, she had a bit of style when she was walking around the ring. Um, she had a bit of a size and power as well and she was quite correct and, and generally she caught my eye in the class. So uh, that was why I had her first in there just now. So. Well, we've well, just won the female championship of the short horns. Um, she was, um, she's a two-year-old heifer uh, called Nutmeg. Uh, her sire is Toss Atlas which was the last sire to win the Royal Show, which is no longer. She's very, very nice line. She, she's character. She's, she's, she's a stylish heifer for a show, show ring. She's a great top. Uh, she's super on her legs. Um, and she, she's, she's as level in her underline as she is in her top line. And she's deep through her heart and well sprung in her rib. It's different because we, because, of the, because of the lockdowns, um, we have probably well, we have lesser numbers. You yeah, love the audience, you know, being there. Um, I thought we might have got the football crowd today and the replay behind the, in the background, but that didn't happen. They're obviously away doing something else. <laughs> uh, so I've just judged the championship of the Beef Shorthorns here. So my senior bull was champion today. So uh, just a very correct bull, uh, plenty of size and power, and, and had plenty of good characteristics. And, uh, generally caught my eye today. Yes, he's, uh, he's, he's very, very, very large. <laughs> you know, you wouldn't typically probably get bulls that size, but you know, he has size, but he's correct with it. So you know, he had the power today to be champion. So that was that was why I had him champion today. So. Yeah, so there's um, there's the beef shorthorn. There's also the dairy shorthorn in this country as well. Um, you know, their, their native breeds are naturally from this country. Um, the the beef shorthorn is bred from the, the dairy shorthorn, and as I said um, earlier on, they are naturally milky animals, and that's why because they were bred from dairy shorthorns originally. So um, that's that's why they have that natural quality. So the class systems animals come in according to their age, um, and then they're judged um, in, in their class bracket, kind of age brackets. And then the winner of every class, say in the, in the females and the heifers, will come together for a for a heifer championship, um, and or a female championship. And the same with the males, all the age groups. The winners of all those age groups come together for for a, a male championship as well. So today, obviously, my my champion was the winner of the, the male section. So he followed through the the overall championship to be winner of of the beef shorthorns today. So I've just won the overall championship of the shorthorns, uh, and he's won the male championship as well. So. Uh, so delighted, delighted. There's a long story about this bull. My, my partner's a podiatrist and they found it in a customer's farm. Uh, and we brought him home and prepared him for show. Yeah, he's, he's, he's maybe a wee bit bigger than, than to the norm, like, but um, we're, 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 um, we're competing with Continentals as well. And it's good to see that a bull this size can be as big and have as much flesh. They are, they are a Scottish breed um, and they're great grazers, they poor pasture. Great grazers, um, and um, they, they flesh very easily on, on poorer pasture and uh, make great cows. Um, so. I mean, I've came to the Highland Show for many years. We've showed cattle here ourselves, and it's not, not the only way I can describe it is it's nothing like you could ever imagine here. You know, it's it's a really, really strange day, but it's great that the Highland Society are doing something on the showground to mark what would have been the Highland Show, and, and you know, hopefully, it'll give people hope for the, the real thing again next year.